Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and in this session I am going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn all about XML syntax and rules. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let's get started. And here I am going to create a very simple XML. I have created a element called friend list and here is the end tag for friend list. Then I have created a element friend, a start tag and a end tag a tag for name and the name is Alex and age is 25. This is a valid XML. Now starting with root, every XML must have a root element and this root element is the parent for all the elements. In this case, friend list is the root element for this XML. Talking about XML prologue, in XML, you can have a first line as XML prolog and it is optional. If you see here, this is a XML prolog. It starts with question mark XML version and encoding. So here, XML prolog gives us the version so you can provide the version of your XML and also encoding. In our XML, we can use international characters and therefore it will be a good practice to provide the encoding being used in your XML and by default it is UTF-8. Then we have tags and all the elements must have a closing tag. If you see this XML, every element has a closing tag. Friend list has a closing tag here. Friend has a closing tag here. Name has a closing tag here and age here. So it is a end tag or closing tag and these tags or elements are case sensitive. So if you change the case that will become a different tag. So XML is case sensitive. And if you see the prologue line, that is the first line, it does not have a closing tag because this is not part of the XML message. Talking about attributes, if you have attribute in your XML, for example, I have added this attribute gender equals male for this friend. In this case, if you have attributes, they must be quoted. So you can see the value male is quoted here. In XML, the elements must be nested properly. If you see this example, we have a start element root, then we have a child element and the sub child element. And then if you see the closing tags or the end tags for all the elements, they are also added sequentially. So it is a well nested XML. So the nesting must be proper in your XML document. We can have entity references. Now in XML, there are some characters that have a specific meaning. And if you use them, otherwise, like in values, they will provide, they will give you an error. For example, the less than and greater than, than symbols or the conical brackets are used to house the elements or are used as tags in XML. And if you try to use it anywhere else, for example, if you place the greater than symbol, something like this, age is greater than 18, this will give an error. And to avoid this error, you can replace this element or this character with the entity reference. So here you can see, I have replaced this greater than with this entity reference for this greater than symbol. And this is a chart where you can see the character and its entity reference. Now you can also find the hexadecimal reference or a numerical reference online for all these characters. These are the five basic characters and its entity references. In XML, you can use comments or you can add comments like this. It starts with a conical bracket, exclamation mark and double dash and ends with a double dash and conical bracket. If you use double dash in between of the comment, this will become invalid. So this is an invalid comment. In XML, white spaces are preserved. So for example, if you say hello and give some white spaces here and say world, it will be preserved as it is. In case of HTML, multiple white spaces are truncated into a single white space, but not in XML. So if a XML document follows all these rules and all these syntaxes, it is called as a well formed XML. And I hope this is now very useful for you. And you now know all the syntax and rules for XML. Do share your knowledge with everyone and I will meet you in the next session. Thank you for watching.